Anyway, um, this week we've gotten a chance to ask all the older guys this question. Has it hit you what this Saturday means? And if so, how would you describe it? Uh, it's hit me somewhat. I mean, it came it came fast. It's, it's, it's I mean, it's a big game because, I mean, you think about it. Like I was telling them, I was, first it was like I got three years left. And it was like, you know, I got two years left. I got one year left. Now it's like I got three games left. And this will be my last time playing at home in front of these fans. But it's a big game, and it's, it's somewhat hit me. I think it hit me more um, on the day, you know, right before the game. But, I mean, I understand that this is a big game, and it's going to be very important. Who are some players that you've had this conversation with that, you know, it's going to be your last game? Uh, mostly the seniors, Gio, Nile, and Terrence, Keelan, Tyler. I mean, you just kind of mentioned, like, dang, this is our last game. You know, we haven't been through it. We haven't been here a while, five years, and it's our last home game. And it's I mean, just mostly the seniors. I've been talking to it about it. Remember the first time you met Jimbo? Um, I mean, we used to always come up here unofficially on, on visits, and I remember meeting him then. And uh, of course, when they start recruiting me, I remember him coming down there and doing a house visit. So that was like one of the first couple times I met him. You were young and you committed, man, weren't you? Like, how young were you? I was. It was like might have been like right at the end of my junior year. Was me it, and, I thought it was before that. Was um. It? Me and Keelan both committed like right after each other. Well, he committed like the day before I did, but we were pretty young. We still had, you know, maybe a year or two left in football. It might have been before that, but I know we were committed here for a while. What do you think back about just that time from the recruiting process, the signing day, to playing here, to just this very moment? How would you describe it all? Because I mean, is it as much of a whirlwind as we all think it is, or does it really feel like it's been like five, six years? I mean, it does feel like it's been. A few years, but then again, it does come fast. I mean, I, I still remember committing. I still remember, you know, signing day. I remember my first day on campus. I remember all that like it was yesterday. And then, but it does come by fast. But at the same time, I know I've been here for a while. You know, you see guys come and go. I mean, and then you got like freshmen and guys who were born in 1997 and 1998. You make you feel old. So it does feel like you've been here a while. We know the feeling. <laughs> Do you ever have to, to tell these younger players, you know, that Chattanooga is like a good team? Like, do you, do you feel like you have to like kind of focus, keep them focused on, you know, an FCS opponent? Um, no, nah, I don't feel like I had to do anything extra. I mean, we know it's the next opponent, and we got goals for the season. You know, of course, we want to win out and take care of you know these two regular season games and then the bowl game. So I didn't have to emphasize the fact that you know, even though they're D1 AA school, we still have to you know. I mean, the coaches do that. I mean, it, and it's part of it's the next opponent, so we respect them just like we respect anybody else. Has Coach Fisher change in the five years you've been here? Um, I wouldn't really say change. I, our relationship changed as far as me having to interact with him, and of course, me being you know a scout, me team player, and me being a defensive player. I would say relationship is a little different that way, not in a bad way or a good way. It's just you interact with him differently. I mean, um, you know, he's pretty hands on with a lot of positions and. Of course, you, he takes care of the quarterbacks in the offense mostly, and you know, defensive players take, coaches take care of their players. But uh, just relationship, can you kind of get closer as the years go on? What is the relationship like between you and the scouts and your guys? Um, I mean, he coaches them just like he coaches everybody else, and I mean, they're they're very important parts of the team. I mean, the year we won a national championship, I mean, it's crazy how important that the scout team was of our success, and they gave us their all that practice every single day. And they were pretty a big part of our success. So he coached him just like he coached everybody else because he wants everybody to get better. I imagine he doesn't give the same sort of attention. Right? Yeah, I mean, I mean that's just part of it. You don't, you don't get as much detailed coaching you know, from him because you have other guys you have to work on. You can't coach every player one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, this is part of it. But you have to learn. If you, if you coach somebody else, you have to learn from it. If you have at the same position, you just got to sit back and watch and, and learn from it. But he's, it's not as much detail you know, as another guy. You know, when you guys got here, Florida State hadn't won a title since the 90s. That practice facility isn't there. Just how much has Florida State changed since you guys have been here? Uh, a lot. I was just talking to somebody about that earlier on the practice field, we were, and we were talking about how I was here when, you know, the practice field still had a hill between offense and defense, and the indoor wasn't here, and we used to have to walk over there to the IM fields to practice, and we had to do four-quarter drill over on the band field. So, of course, stuff around here changed a lot. The locker room changed, of course. And, you know, the coaches, officers, there's been a lot going on, of course, since, you know, when you become a winning program, stuff like that happened. What's it like to be a part of these couple classes that have really come in and changed the culture around this program? 
Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, you, you change as a person and you, get, you see it from both sides. And you just kind of sit back and watch. You learn from, you know, mistakes or you learn from, you know, older guys who were here before you that did the right thing. So to be a part of different classes is pretty beneficial. Defense is having a really nice year. If you guys had to play the FSU offense in an actual game, <laughs> how well could you shut down Dallin Cook? Well, it's Dalvin Cook. I wouldn't really say shut him down. Okay. But, um, <laughs> yards and touchdowns, you think he'd finish with? Final line. Uh, you know, us being for the state defense and them being the offense, I'm not. I say he'll have, you know, he'll have over 100 yards and maybe a touchdown or two. But you know, we want, we're not just gonna let him like put up no 300 yards and nothing like that against us. But of course, it's Dalvin Cook though. I mean, I'm sure other teams have that same mindset. But when you're a special player like that. It's just sometimes there ain't nothing you can do about it. Which would it mean for his senior class if he could win out and get 50 wins? Uh, it'll, it'll be, I mean, I, I believe they said you'll be the, the, will be the most winning uh, senior class at Florida State. So it'll be very important, of course, to have a record like that. And then just to ha have a record like that, period, I mean, to kind of say, I, you know, out of my five years at Florida State or four years, I won 50 games. And not many players can say that. I mean, at any other school or even here, not many players can say that. So he kind of separates you from, you know, a lot of people, a lot of great teams that came through Florida State. Do you guys as a class talk about that and you know, trying to get to 50? Um, it's kind of like a, this is kind of unspoken. I mean, it's, I mean, we know if we win out, that will be what it is. It will be 50, but it's not like we got, we're walking around like, you know, we got to win 50, we got to win 50. We just kind of let it take care of itself one game at a time. Did you guys already know that you were about to get that mark, or did Jimbo tell you guys? Coach Fisher mentioned it. I mean, I, well, for me, I, other guys probably knew. I mean, I knew it was up there because you hear about the class that left last year, about what their winners is, and you know, 40, you know, whatever, 30, whatever, and you kind of just add yours onto it as the season go on.